Hey, what's going on everybody? I know you didn't think we were finished with the chorus chorus. We still have a lot more to do. We did the triads. We started off with playing triads. We did the seventh chord with the seventh scale degree. Now we're on to the ninth scale degree. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, so real quick, I always forget to say this. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click that red subscribe button so you can get notified every single Friday, every single week, and sometimes twice a week that I post lessons. Also, visit DerekBennett.com where you can get more of this. I explain, I go more in depth with what I'm teaching on here as well. So you want to check that out if you're really serious about taking your bass playing to the next level. All right, let's go. All right, now let's get into it. I want to do a quick overview of what we already did. We talked about triads, which is the one, three, and the five scale degree of the major scale or the minor scale, whatever scale you're playing at the time, whatever your key you're in, uh, we did for both. So you can play a chord just with those three notes. Then there's the seven chord, the major seven on a minor seven chord. Uh, you're, you're bringing in those upper extensions now. You're, you're, you're climbing up the ladder, I, I would say. You're stacking those thirds. So you got one, three, five, and now seven. All right, and we talked about that in the last um, episode or last tutorial of the course. So as long as you understand that concept, all we're doing is building on top of it, all right? Grasp the concept first, and then you wanna relate it to your instrument or to your bass, all right? So you wanna learn how to play this positioning-wise, fingering-wise on the bass, because that's the most trouble that we get into, okay? We learn it on paper, okay, I got one, three, five, seven. Okay, I can recite odd numbers <laughs> since I was in grade school. That's fine. What else do I have to do with it? How do I apply it now? So that's what we're talking about. And that's what I want to show you guys today, how to play these nine chords. There's several different ways. Uh, and I'll also just stick to the end. I'll, I'll also show you exactly what I played in the beginning, that little chord progression thing. I really just made it up, but I'll show you guys exactly what I did. So let's expound on that C major scale. Let's just start from there. So it's easy to remember or easy to figure out. <laughs> so we have one, three, five of the major scale. So that's C, E, and G. We play that as a chord. We played it up here. We played it down here. Uh, or we played it up here with the third, with the major third um, up an octave. We just switched that up an octave. That's all we did to be able to play that at the same time. Okay, so the seventh chord, we use two different variations of the seventh chord. We had the root, the seven, and the third, we did the same thing. We moved the third up an octave. Or we can also just keep the third right there. And we have one, uh, we have the root note, third, and then the seventh. We left the fifth note out. Okay, so with these chords, you have different options that you can play. So with the fifth note, we leave that fifth note out because sometimes it's, it's, very, uh, it's, ve it's very powerful, it's very overbearing uh, because with the bass, the frequencies of the bass, when you play a fifth together, that interval is very harsh, it's very... You know that like that power chord you know and, and definitely especially with those lower frequencies it's harder to hear that and it just kind of gets a little bit muddy so with those chords sometimes we leave the fifth note out unless we're playing in this upper register here so we got the seventh chord down Th that was a major seven and, a, and then a minor seventh or yeah how much better it sounds up here uh but anyway now we're going to move on to the ninth scale degree and what is the ninth scale degree all right, easy way to think about it is whenever you get above those upper extensions like seven, nine, 11, 13, you know, that kind of thing, uh, even if it's sharp, flat, doesn't matter, uh, take away seven from it. All right, you get what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna be doing a little bit of math. All right, guys, so, so <laughs> take away seven from nine, and what do you have? Two, right? So two is the second scale degree, the octave of the nine. Okay, the lower octave of the ninth. So it's easy to find that. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we were to keep going with the scale, nine, that will be our ninth note. But it's an easy way to figure that out. If you see nine, just think, okay, subtract seven from that and I got two. So two, the second scale degree of the major scale is the D and all you have to do is find that octave. Very quick way to find that. Um, it took me a while to figure that out when I first started playing. Uh, I didn't really have anybody to show me that, but when I found out that little trick, it just kind of, you know, made my reading, my, spi my sight reading go a little bit quicker, especially reading chord charts. But anyway, so the ninth note is going to be that D. All right, so in relation to that, you have the root and you have the nine, okay? So there's different ways to play these chords. We can play, we can stack them. We can play the run, the one, three, the five, and the seven, and the nine. 
but that's a little bit, you know, it gets a little bit clunky, clunky when you deal with that. All right, we already have four notes on top of each other on, on bass, and it, it, it's, if you don't do it the right way, it can, get, it can get muddy, like I said before. So what we can do, we can kind of omit these, you know, certain uh, notes if we wanted to. So what I'll do is I'll start here, so it's just a little bit easier. Well, you know what? Let me start with the easiest way to play it, and then I'll, under, I'll explain. So you had the root note. What I like to do is I like to spread this out. I like to play the fifth note, and then I like to play the ninth. And now, that note or that chord can go for a major or a minor because the, ma the major fifth would be the same thing or if you had a minor scale, the fifth would still be the same thing. And then you have the ninth. So it can be major or minor. So you can kind of get away with that. Uh, but if you're, you're trying to get intricate with the actual scale degree and the chord tones, uh, you want to be able to add that minor third and a major third that makes that chord you know, uh, identifiable. So you want to be able to add that note in there somewhere. All right, but that's just like a little cheap, you know, cheap way of playing a minor or a major nine chord. So that one positioning covered major or minor. So if you want to play a, a nine chord, you can get away with playing it like that if it's major or minor. All right, but then there's another way you can play that. It's a little bit more difficult. So your hands need to be warmed up, need to be stressed a little bit. Uh, maybe play some scales beforehand, play some exercises <laughs> before you start playing these nine chords. Because they're, they're, they're not easy, I'm gonna tell you that now. Uh, sometimes I still struggle with them only because the positioning uh, or if my, my bass is not on the right knee or, you know, in the beginning I think I had it on this knee, I can't even remember, uh, but still. It's, it's a little bit difficult to actually execute, but I'll show you exactly what I mean. So now, all right guys, so if you wanna finish this lesson, you wanna head over to the Bass Nation Academy. I'll put a link to it right here. It's a three day free trials, nothing to lose. The whole entire course will be available there uh, from beginning to end the first part of the course. There's actually like five or six parts now, and it's still being added onto because there's so much to learn with chords. And when you get there, make sure you send me a message through the site. Let me know you're coming from YouTube. I would love to hear from you. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, and until next time, I'll see you.